Oklahoma and uh, <laughs> it's raining and I have a wiper that's going ganky so I'm off to a later start and I'm about to lose that wiper on the right side there So I gotta pull over and fix it. And I have a decent enough shoulder, but it's not great. Oh, there's traffic now. Do not need this. Already running late. Oh, just have the two stops in Carrollton and they're half mile from each other. That's no problem. But I should have taken the service road here. I could have went around this construction. But I had my radio turned off, so ooh, I didn't know. So if my four ways on, that way people know that I'm stopping. But well, there's much traffic now, so I mean, I'll turn those off. Alrighty, we are getting into Carrollton. going, just hitting my macro saying that I'm done here, and uh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm getting out of here, but we uh, can't turn around, no realistic chance of that, so I'm going to go forward, I took a walk around the building. If I can make the first turn, we're golden. I think I can. Might be a little close. The tandems are up. So, we're gonna try it. first thing in the morning so I'd get here early before anybody was in those spots flip around and be facing the exit they were quite convinced I wouldn't be able to make it out of here if I came back here this is where I stopped so I'm pretty confident I can get out this way okay we're done in uh, Carrollton and everything we grab fuel and lunch and stuff and uh, just gonna head down Towards the Houston area. We're gonna stop in route and uh, shut down for the night so that way I get parking. It's up uh, afternoon already, so 
make sure I get parking. Probably try to hit a rest area that way I don't have to spend the money on a truck stop. <laughs> I'll just uh, hit one of the, there's a couple rest areas coming down this way, so I'll hit one of those at some point. And uh, nothing else going on today, not a whole lot of video going on, just the rain, you can't see anything. And I'm sure the rain isn't uh, sounding all that good in the mic on the camera, so. At uh, Houston, and then tomorrow, wherever we go, wherever we stop, we'll go from there to uh, hit the J just north of Houston on 45 there. All right. I'm going to do another end today because I shut down early because it's raining out. get to where I want to because people out here lose their minds with rain. Oh my god, you'd think it was a snow, like a blizzard. They slow down, they do 15 under the speed limit in both lanes and then brake lights. They drive exactly like a snowstorm. Four wheelers wonder why they go spinning off in the ditch in the winter. It's because you keep jamming your freaking brakes. They do that for rain in the south. I don't know what it is. You can go to the northern states. It's fine. The south, the south, and Florida. Horrible when when it rains. The Carolinas. It's just, oh, Alabama. All through there, Texas. It rains and people just lose. They just lose all ability to navigate a vehicle. Not that they have a whole lot to begin with, but geez, just keep driving. It's nothing big. Yeah, there's some reduced visibility, so well, increase your following distance, but. So I passed a bunch of accidents. Accidents isn't caused by the rain, it's caused by people driving like morons and then jamming on their brakes unexpectedly. So, or not keeping your following distance and so forth and whatnot. Good morning. It's uh, Saturday, there we go. And we're just going to mosey on down to the Flying J just north of Houston. And we will reset our hours there. So we're just going to be a short day here. This is going to kind of be like beginning plus end of day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just reset there. I'm just going to clean up the truck and do this and that. Relax a little. And drink a whole bunch of coffee after this week. I mean, it's been a busy week under the gun, just trying to pay, play catch up uh, with a lot of the stuff. Uh, it would be nice to just clean up the truck, maybe watch some football. Good morning. It's Monday, so we're just about to leave where I do my vehicle inspection and everything. So my truck's all clean, and uh, we're going to go do our final delivery of this run, and uh, then go to our pickup. Hold our pickups. All right, so we're a wee bit lost. Uh, I think we're kind of back on track here. Let's make my way at least. Anywho. Last drop, of course, that had to be a tough one, eh? Okay, we are finally empty. And, uh... I kind of, sort of, almost know where I'm going. service road. I have to go past the, uh, just on the 290 heading west, it's a kind of north, northwest of Houston. Kind of hits, uh, if you think of the face of the clock, it's going out towards the 10 o'clock position on Houston. Oh, it's hard to get past all the highway. Eight 
some stuff. And then uh, take a uh, other road that comes alongside uh, Highway 8 and turns into its frontage road. This frontage road doesn't continue from here onto 8 South, so. go past it and come back a little bit. Okay, so we're loaded here and this curious fellow parked in the front of the only vehicle that could possibly be moving anytime soon. He's slowly walking back to his truck, almost like a strut. So we have to wait So we are okay. okay, so we are good, we still good. Now we're gonna go. Auto. 32.5 degrees. It's a little hot out. Just do a little bit. Ah, oh, I can't go yet. Do up my customs paperwork. Tisk tisk, I almost forgot. I did forget. Remember now, almost love it I'll get it done. So we're gonna do that. Alrighty, we're leaving Houston. Freaking brilliant. Brilliant of that dude. Instead of establishing the lane well before that exit, he holds on, holds on, holds on. Good morning. It's Tuesday. So we're uh, going to take off. And uh, just a drive day, so going through the plane. So I'll do some video, but it'll probably be a short day of video. And uh, yeah, then tomorrow we hit border and all that, and maybe deliver tomorrow. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Uh, but that's a heck of a pull, and I have to get up really early. So we will see what happens. Uh, but likely I'll be uh, driving tomorrow. I'll cross tomorrow. I'll get to uh, Musaman a little too late to deliver in Rokenville. Rokenville is just like half hour away. And then we'll do that Thursday. So we'll see what happens. Drive for now. I want some filthy. And I will clean it when I fuel because I got to get some miles on. That I can still see, so I don't want to waste time cleaning it now and then making another stop. So, all right, we just grabbed fuel in Salina, Kansas. Go back to the 81, then go north. Windshield's cleanish. It's a little cloudy. Looks like yeah, maybe in for a little bit of rain later on. Late afternoon. Driving to get the cloud cover. Not too dark. So I don't want too much like rain clouds, but that can change. All right, we're just uh, going to do an end of day here. It's dark early now. Uh, yeah, we're going to get up to South Dac, uh, maybe Fargo, uh, not 100% sure, uh, sure where, but uh, we have a bit to drive yet, so we'll probably stop in Summit, South Dakota, 
Good morning. Just leaving Summit, South Dakota. Only was 30, I know. Well, we'll have to deal with it because these pumps are all messed up. They have two rows. So, I don't want to get in there. So I don't want to get stuck with the back on this back out and stuff. So we are just going to go and I'm going to grab fuel and grab forks. Hey, we're about to hit the uh, border. Some of the gas tracks got duty free and such. Well, I'll pay for duty free and such. Just have to stop here at the shack. That's what we're doing. Almost back into Canada. Stop in Headingley, take a shower. Mosey on to moose them in and then uh, get up early to Rokenville. Good morning. Uh, it's Thursday. We're just getting going. I slept in so later than I wanted. But they told me to be there before 2. be a problem. Alright, we are unloaded here. A lot of security here at the site, so I'm not going to show you. i charge my trailer again. Brakes release. I have to release the brakes. These trailers have the aerodynamics, like the uh, wind uh, deflectors on the bottom, so they couldn't lock my trailer bumper with the chalk in. I made sure my trailer brakes were dynamited, so still able to unload me. So that's a good thing. Alrighty, we are gonzo. We're gonna go back to Musiman, back to the co-op, go make some coffee, and see what's shaking. Send them a message saying that I'm uh, like a macro on the fall bomb, saying that I was empty, or that I did the delivery, so I will, uh, a little bit, send them a message asking uh, where to next, boss. Alrighty. So we are going to Lakeville, Manitoba, or Oakville, Oak Lake, Oak Lake, Manitoba, there we go. Just off of number one here, uh, just past Verdon. Alrighty, we are reloaded in Oak Lake, Oak Lake, yeah, something like that. And uh, heading back to Winnipeg. Alright, we're back in Winnipeg, so we are uh, just doing up my paperwork and heading home. So I'll have, uh, I don't know what's happening on the weekend, but uh, I'm eligible to reset. I didn't reset in, uh, I didn't declare a reset in Houston. Which means, since today's Thursday, I should be good to go Saturday morning if needed. Because I know how to run a logbook. So, see so what happens if I'm only in long enough to reset. That's fine. It's our busy time. So, I will, uh, I'll run with it.